Hello, welcome to the Dubai Air Show 2023, one of the biggest and most important aviation events of the year. As you can see, by the extent of the enormous static display lined up behind the 190 aircraft here on static display, but the action that we are interested in is up in the sky. And oh my goodness, have we had quite an incredible flying display over the last few days. Among the particular highlights, a number of the latest fighter aircraft, the JF-17A Thunder, and the Tejas Mark I taking part in the same flying display for the first time, a showdown between India and Pakistan there. Uh, we've had China's J-10CY in the hands of the August, the first aerobatic team, also known as Bai Yi from the People's Liberation Army Air Force. From the United States, we've had the F-15QA with a quite incredible demonstration that included, get this, a tail slide. And we've also had their fifth generation F-35A Lightning II. This is one of the last big air shows that will accept a major Russian presence, and they've gone all out uh, to show off their wares. We've had the Russian Knights flying six Su-35S jets. Uh, we've also had the K-52 in the flying display. The UAE Air Force, of course, always puts on a show for their home event. We've had Fazan Al Emirat, their national aerobatic team, but also fantastic solo displays from the F-16E Desert Falcon and the Mirage 2000 big aerobatic teams that I haven't mentioned yet that really deserve to be mentioned. The Frecce Tricolori from Italy flying as a nine ship this week rather than the usual ten, which is a shame. Uh, and something I'd never seen before, Sarang from India uh, flying four examples of the Indian Dhruv helicopter. Now make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because as soon as we can we'll be bringing you a free to view 90 minute air show dispatches film charting the very best of the flying displays. But until then, here are some of our best clips from the week.